I'm Candace Einspar with Color of Fast Pitch Academy. Today, I will be showing you how to work on your spin for a rise ball. There are two ways to work on your spin for a rise ball. In both cases, you will want to use a lined ball. The line should run down the middle of the ball as if you were doing a four seam grip. The grip I recommend for a rise ball is a two finger grip. The middle finger and pointer finger are alongside a seam of an upside down horseshoe shape with your thumb and pinky on the opposing side and the ring finger between the middle finger and pinky. The first way you can practice doing your spin for a rise ball is to get into a dipped position where your shoulder and knee are downward. Pitching shoulder is your right shoulder for right-handed pitchers, left shoulder for left-handed pitchers. The line should be pointed towards your catcher in a 12-6 position. In other words, the line should look like the hands of a clock pointing to 12 and 6. You will then simply spin the ball out of your hand, allowing the ball to drop down and go backwards. If my line was 12-6, landed, and then went backwards, I know I did it correctly. Another way of practicing a rise ball spin if you've been struggling with getting the ball up or struggling with getting your snap is to get into the exact same position, but then practice throwing the ball behind you. In this case, you'll have your catcher behind you. I recommend doing 10 to 20 spins before attempting the actual pitch.